Ah! Oh, it's so nice. I know. It's so nice. We are leaving today uh, for our passage to Cabo and uh, we don't want to leave because it's really nice here today but our weather looks good. The seas look calm and wind, but calmer sea. not a lot of wind but calmer seas but I think the wind you said tomorrow is supposed to pick up. So anyways we're gonna leave. We're gonna take the, the calmer seas because of the last pass. I just well, we both were having a tough time. That was really, really rough. Well, but it was also no sunshine. Yeah, that's true. So Cool hair. What are you gonna do with all your shells? <laughs> right. I'm just gonna put them in a bucket and look at them when we go. Oh. I've got to tell. going to attempt to raise the spinnaker for the very first time ever. <laughs> Got everything set up. Let's do it. The wind is very light, but uh, that's okay. I hope it goes well. How fast are we going? Are we out of gear? No, I will go do that right now. So, update on the speed. We're going about three and a half to four knots. We have about four, or just just increased to five knots of apparent wind with our spinnaker. We're out of gear, then it's just still running, but this is pretty cool. <laughs> this is the fourth sail we've ever flown, right? Yeah. I wish it had um, like roller skates on it or something. <laughs> roller skates? Yeah, like Xanadu. Oh yeah something Olivia Newton-John-ish. Yeah, maybe a huge Olivia Newton-John <laughs> Oh, that'd be so awesome. <laughs> well, that's pretty friggin' sweet, <laughs> eh? It looks good, too. Like, the sail condition looks pretty uh, good. Yeah, it's better than I thought it was Yeah, be. especially considering those, uh, the corners looked pretty bad. Sweet. Oh, wow, that was so much bigger than I expected it was gonna be. Oh, As really? I was pulling it out, it was like, Oh no. <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. We'll worry about taking it down later. <laughs> How goes the fishing? Uh, not going very well. We're not going over any sort of shoal or anything. tension just in that sweet spot so our rod doesn't go flying <laughs> when we catch our tuna. We're clipping along at like four, four and a half knots now. The wind's picked up just a touch so we're getting five to six knots of apparent. This is like the most amazing thing in the world. It's so quiet. So it's awesome. so comfortable. The sail's not snapping and flapping back and forth. We should have done this months ago. We were chicken. 
Not sure how taking the sail down is gonna go. We don't have a sock for it. So I think it's gonna be one person dropping while one person gathering. But again, I have no idea. Also, if you see something that's like clearly wrong about how we're flying it, just let us know because we have no idea. Really? Wow. Hey. Hey. Do you need more? No. Oh, good. good. What's it? Well, we were sailing along, and for one thing, like, it's usually never this quiet when we sail, and all of a sudden we heard this squeak, and the sail drive vibrates as we sail, and we never heard this squeak before, and it pretty much sounded like it was coming from the engine compartment. So I crawled in there, and it was, it's hard to tell, but you could tell it was squeaking somewhere in there. So I checked the oil and it was a little low. And the sail drive kind of seems to, I don't know, puke out oil. I don't know if it's because when you're running and you're in heavy seas. So it was a little low. I filled it up with some oil and the squeaking went away. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but at least we addressed it now. Yeah. Because it's so, Oh. I know, this has been the best ever. Holy smokes. Well, it opens up like a whole, like we wouldn't normally, in this type of wind, Yeah, we'd probably be, like, be motoring, or at least motor sailing, so. Yeah, or just like going really slow and being like, oh, this is going to take, and the sails would flap, where yeah. this one, it sort of flaps around, but. It just kind of follows just, the wind. It doesn't like snap like the, the other sails do. Yeah, it's awesome. It's kind of like a dream come true. <laughs> Making dreams come true. Probably, probably the best way to explain it. <laughs> it's good. Good. Oh, brother. A little bit of carnage. Not too bad. Don't ever turn up wind when you have a spinnaker and it's blowing that much. Holy crap, I thought we were gonna die. So stupid. Gotta figure out how to do that better. So we just took the spinnaker down and forgot to actually press record on the GoPro, so you didn't actually get to see what happened, but I think it was a series of critical mistakes that were made. The boat heeled over bigger than I've ever seen it. We turned up wind to try to grab the sail because we couldn't get it. It was so stupid. Okay, so I'm gonna explain what happened. We were flying our spinnaker downwind with our whisker pull out and everything was great and wonderful. And then when we decided to take it down, all we did ended up doing was we moved our whisker pull all the way to the front and then I came up the boat and reached way out in hopes that I would be able to grab the line and then we could let everything off as I pulled it in. But once we had pulled it all the way here, I wasn't able to grab the sail, so we actually tried letting the lines go more and also the halyard. So then the sail started to actually fill. And at this point we're like, well, we'll turn up into the wind like we would a normal sail and try to have the sail get pushed back onto the boat, at which point we'd be able to grab it. But what ended up happening was as we turned into the wind and our apparent wind speed increased, our sail, which the lines had been loosened and the halyard had been loosened, the spinnaker actually just ended up pillowing out the side of the boat and was even more impossible to reach. And then at that point, we kept turning up into the wind, but 
and continue just to sort of follow the wind in this pillow. And then the whole boat just healed way over. We were both screaming and had no idea what to do. So with the boat healed, what felt like all the way into the water, uh, eventually we did just make our way around uh, and we were heading into the wind and then just basically loosened off all the sheets in the halyard and I was able to pull the sail in. And as crazy as it was, we never dipped the sail into the water. <laughs> Put this one up. <laughs> that was extremely terrifying. I thought we were gonna die. Like I thought the boat was going over. My whisker pole looked like it was gonna go. Boing! I didn't know what else to do, like, we couldn't just let it off, it was just gonna parachute into the water. I know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what, what we were supposed to do in that situation. Just not that, that can't be right. Spinnakers are, what was it, what did you call it when we had it flying? It was a dream. It's a dream and a nightmare. All in one. <laughs> The real well-rounded sail. Oh, I'm just, yeah, glad we took that down before. I know. It took a while, too. The sun's just about setting. We're still flying. Good. At least we're still doing, oh, wow, we are. At least we got some pretty nice sunset over here. sitting here, can you see me, on watch, and then um, something flew into the cockpit. Oh, I assumed it. Oh, whoops. I didn't know if it was a fish or a bird, but it's a bird. Poor Lyndon, woke up by my, my startledness. I'm so scared, probably. Oh, he's totally like disoriented. Oh no! Oh, he looks like he's okay. He's probably just. Should we just leave him for a minute? Oh no! Shh. Okay, buddy. His wings look okay. You okay? She needs something cozy. <laughs> Here's a rag. <laughs> I don't think he likes that. No, it's like, oh, it stinks, guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he stays here all night. Okay. Okay, bud. You just don't freak me out, okay? We're just gonna coexist for a bit. Hey guys, hope you liked that episode. Thanks for watching. Make sure you tune in next Wednesday as we complete our pass and land our boat in Cabo, which we're very excited. And have the craziest weather we ever have. <laughs> yes, we have our biggest weather yet. So make sure you tune in for that. We'll see you here next week and make sure you like and subscribe if you like it.